life as long as I can. To my daughters, Zoe and Haley, I hope I have done enough to secure you both a future free from financial worries. And that even with me not here to guide you, that you can both pursue your dreams. And remember, Mammy loves you. Uh, good evening, Gabby from the Irish Independent. Um, Dr. Hollihan, yesterday we saw another woman involved in the cervical check scandal, Lindsay Bennett, who had to go through the High Court to seek security for the future of her family and children. There was settlement, but no admission of liability. And while regret was expressed, there was no apology. Is this an acceptable way to treat women that were affected? And should they still be compelled to enter a long and combative legal process? Well, you know a lot of work has been uh, undertaken across government to try and provide mechanisms that are as patient-centred and as woman-centred as they possibly can. The minister's been... Um, you are the chief medical officer for the country. Would you like to apologise to Lindsay Bennett? I think uh, I'm not aware of the facts of the particular case. I am aware that there was a settlement, but I don't know any of the details. Uh, I know that, that a letter was read out uh, in respect of that particular case by the clinical director of the programme uh, that's addressed that issue. Would you like to apologise to any of the other women that have been affected by the cervical check scandal? <laughs> Lindsay Bennett is not the first and probably won't be the last. Well, the state, as you know, and the Taoiseach in the past on a number of occasions has apologised mm -hmm. uh, in relation to what has happened. Uh, a very significant harm has been done to people who have had the experience over the course of the last number of years. There's new, better technology. There are learnings now arising from the handling, if you like, of the information and the failure to share that information with women in respect of, 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 um, of clinical audit. So you're right, the Taoiseach and the state did apologise. Yeah because, of course, cervical check did fall under their remit. It also fell under your remit. And it was also, I suppose, under your responsibilities too. It was. So I suppose they have apologised. Would you like to also apologise to those women that have been affected? Well, I certainly have a huge amount of regret as to what's happened to women in those situations. Uh, we can go back over the facts, if you wish, of that. Those facts are a matter of public.